Ogden woman says that hackers have drained more than a thousand dollars out of her digital only bank account. But when the online bank refused to make her whole, she decided to get Gephardt. It happened in the middle of the night. A crook broke into Julie Olson's email account, and from there, they were able to get access to her bank account. They were able to change the phone number on my bank account and gained access that way. Once inside, the savvy criminal changed Julie's email settings and bank settings so her phone would never ding and wake her up. So that I wasn't alerted as to what was going on. By Maybe the time Julie did wake up, she discovered $1,200 had been transferred out of her bank account. They sent a portion of the money to one email address and a portion to another. Now, the evidence seems to clearly indicate that Julie was hacked. Backup emails and proof that someone had logged into my email account from Russia. But in spite of the evidence, the bank shot down Julie's claim for a refund. Not just once, but twice. They still looked at it and said they found no error. Frustrated, Julie decided it was time to call me. Now, let's be clear. If a consumer is a victim of this type of fraud, they have federal protections under what's called Regulation E. It is a rule that says if a bad guy initiates a fraudulent transfer, the bank must restore the stolen money. So we reached out to Julie's online bank, Chime, to ask why they aren't protecting her under that federal regulation. Their communications team responded right away, not with an answer to that, but to tell us, quote, Chime takes matters like this very seriously, and our member services team has looked into this matter, which has been resolved in the member's favor. And sure enough, Julie says that within just a couple of hours, her $1,200 was back in her account. It's really a lot to me. There are two things that experts say you should do to keep hackers from cracking open your bank account. Number one, switch on two-factor authentication. It means they cannot change your password without access to your cell phone. And number two, use unique logins and passwords. Since many of us tend to reuse our logins, a hacker who gets access to one account can easily get into another. If you've got a problem you can't solve, give me a shot at it. The number 385-707-6153, or you can email me, matt, at ksl.com. All right, thank you, Matt. Stop signing.